Iridium. Hope you're doing all right today. So, a really exciting reaction for me. Um, a few weeks ago, I don't know if anyone remember, I did uh, a reaction from a band called The Dark Horde. And the song was called Mask. And it's off a forthcoming album called The Calling. Now, this is going to be a concept album. And man, when a, when a concept album's done right, it can be the best albums. But it's hard to get it right. The first track, brilliant metal track. Everything about it I loved. I was so excited to hear some more. Now, here's the next track. This is called um, Childhood. Now, I actually messaged the band with my other video and said, guys, what an amazing song. Congratulations. I can't believe how good it is. They said, well, the next one is concentrating more on the narration side because I know there's actors involved and, you know, it's a proper concept album. And I was like, oh, yeah, well, that sounds exciting because it's going to give me more an idea, you know, what you guys are going to sound like on this album, of the concept itself. So if you want to go back and check out, you might have missed it, The Mask from the Dark Horde um, reaction, go and do that because then I'll name all the musicians and all that. So there's, there's, like I said, there's narration, there's, there's a book apparently this is based on, which is so cool. And I'm just really excited to hear this next song because, like I said, it's got narration in it. So it's going to give you more of an idea of what this is going to sound like. And this is what's got me excited about hearing this song because, of, you know, he said they, the band said it's more of the second single is more narration. And the third single, actually, they said to me is going to be more of that metal, no narration and more vocals and guitar. So I'm really getting excited because... <laughs> It blew me away, like I said. The, the first song was fucking amazing. Check that out, The Mask. If you don't check out my reaction video, just check out the video, do the band a favor and get some views going on. So these guys sound fantastic. Let's listen to this, The Dark Horde and Childhood. Time is short now. I sense them drawing close. Whilst blood still flows through these shaking hands, I will tell you of them, in the hope that someone hears these words and knows of what is to inevitably come. I know not how to stop the Dark Horde, or how to stop the events I have set into motion, when I doubt it makes any difference. is doomed anyway. It wasn't always like this. Once I enjoyed a happy life too. Once I had a life. My early childhood the outsider seemed like any other. A child full of energy, confidence and wonder. Then, when I was only seven, came the visions. They were infrequent at first. Intermittent thunder before the storm. By the time I was eight, they were coming to me. Not only every night, but every hour of every waking day. Every child fears the dark. But who's to believe that a child's nightmares could possibly be real? Henry, your father and I are really worried about you lately. You seem so upset. What's wrong? It's the nine bears again. My arms are hurt, and I know they're ill. Oh, Henry, my poor little boy. It's all in your mind. It's your imagination. They're just bad dreams. Can't you see that? They can't hurt you. They're not real. There's no little way back. I don't know where the dreams come from! Henry! I don't know the dreams last week! But tell me what's gonna happen! Henry, I've had enough of this nonsense! I'm tired! 
taking you to the doctor. This has got to stop. This isn't like any other dream. You don't understand. Henry. You don't understand. Every day, not I hear them. I see them. I smell them. They won't leave. I've never reacted to a song like this before. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'll tell you what though, what it does do, it gives even more of a feel for me for what the album's gonna be like. Now, if you're just listening to this, although I think this is fucking brilliant, the atmosphere that was brought on by the narration, the music for the beginning and the end, I'm gonna talk about the middle part in a minute, but it was really bringing the idea for me what this is going to be like this album i actually love the australian voices i'll tell you why because i love a bit of australian and i know it's not the same country but new zealand horror i think it's some of the they bring us some of the best horror i've ever seen so it was actually i love the way they're using australian actors obviously australian band i love the way they're doing that because it just it makes me smile because Australian and, like I said, New Zealand horror is fucking fantastic. I'll tell you what, the air standing on the back of my neck when that music came in as well. I just think, you know, this is giving us a glimpse of what we're going to get. I'm so fucking excited for this concept album. I think it's going to be fucking excellent. I must admit, the kid actor in this was fucking brilliant. He'd done an excellent job. Um, amazing actor amazing so I, I think it's fucking i can't wait to hear this horror and metal and then like i said if you're watching this and you've just heard this you think this is what the dark hold are all about please go back and list, listen to mask as well because it's fucking excellent but then you imagine these two songs together on a concept album i've never left a song by the way i've always stopped them halfway through i didn't on this because of the way the structure was Let's talk about that middle part when them guitars came in. I literally, the hair stood on the back of my neck and I think it, it was going along with the atmosphere of the song. And then when the guitar came in, heavy and crunchy, classic metal riff, it just brought out the horror even more. I fucking love this. Absolutely love it. What do you think of it? Imagine the two songs together, by the way. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll see you next.